Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. I had to take some time out to regroup my energy, to sage. There's a lot of uh, negative energy around. It's really important to keep your protection rituals up. Very important to give thanks. Very important to be grateful for the protection you're receiving for the energies. I'm pretty sure why things are being so intense right now. Um, a lot of karma is being released at this time, good and negative. So the negatives are fighting for dear life here. Okay, so that's why when I was doing the pre-shuffle of this deck, the Starborn flew out. So I know it's an important message for you guys. Thank you so much for your likes and guys know that by liking the videos and by commenting and subscribing it really helps the messages circulate around YouTube. It gets more suggestions and the more people that hear these messages the better off our community will be. So thank you for taking the time out to do that. So the Starborn. The Starborn says, an elusive yet radiant aspect of the self. The Starborn archetype points to the cosmic spark of light that arrives with each being at birth. The moment the newborn crowns, whether vaginally or surgically, the royal stars above are said to con constellate in a unique shape that maps our path in the world. The idea of destiny is controversial, yet the starborn naturally feels the sense of destination and purpose, aiming itself toward a future that is beyond the mundane. When this card appears, travel back to your birth story for clues and insight. What did you desire when you were young? Practice seeing your life form the mystic point of view rather than a series of logistics. Read the story of the three fates and envision yourself born under the stars with unique destiny. Yeah. When lit, which it is, all is alight, trusting, vibrant, and aimed. So you definitely have a divine purpose. And the three fates says to read the three fates. What are the three fates? According to Encyclopedia Britannica, their names were Clotho, Lachesis, and Atropos. Clotho spun the thread of human fate, Lachesis dispensed it, and Atropos cut the thread. You're being asked to go back <clears throat> to the time of your birth. 
your childhood and remember your destiny. Remember what it was that you wished for or what you wanted or what you thought. was your purpose. The Creator. What was it he, what, you were star born, you have a destiny. What was it that you wanted to create? The siren. The siren calls and the world spins. What we thought we wanted pales in comparison to the sweet allure of her song. We find ourselves lost in a spell of desire and longing, perhaps even lust. Whether the thing calling to us is ultimately good or bad, it's somewhat irrelevant. It is the journey that matters. And the work of the siren is to take on a deep psychic descent. Following her song, we go down, down, down to a place where lessons are learned and courage must be rallied to find our way back to dry land. Try as we might, resisting the call may not even be an option unless the Odessus, we bind our hands to the mast of our ship. It's likely, though, that falling for her call is the only way we will come to live more fully on the surface. This is awakening. You were here to create. You were here to create something for the community. The seed was planted in the womb. So definitely you're being called back to find out what your soul call was, what your soul plan was. And some of us, when we're born, we get lost away on the journey. We're being called back to our destinies, being called back. The seed was planted in the womb before we were born. And then we are born to create something. These are star seeds. These are people with special purposes. These are psychic intuitive abilities psychically knowing when we're born that we have a greater destiny to fulfill and we are being called back. That's why there is so much negative energies around. It's like a distraction, trying to distract you off your life purpose, trying to discourage you, tempt you, pull you away from your soul call. And it is a struggle to find your way back. And it is not so much the good or the evil. It is how we live our life 
on this journey. What do we do with that seed that's been planted? What do we do with it? Do we use that for our higher good and for the higher good of humanity? Or do we use that for other purposes? And why there's so much negative energy around is because the closer to ascension that you get and the closer people are to awakening, the more negative energy tries to pull you back in, tries to suck you back into something, into that vacuum, because you really have to have your feet firmly planted. That's why there's so much negativity going on in all the reeds. It's what do you do with that creative seed? What do you do with that in the community? That's why it's important for you to keep completely um positive in your thoughts, your energy, and doing for the higher good. Because in the end, that's all that matters and counts, is what you do with that seed, what you do with that destiny, what you do with that calling. Are you using that to benefit others? And if the answer to that question is yes, then you do not need to worry about neither good, neither evil. You don't have to worry about either or. It's being grateful. Life is one continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what you have in your life. Instead of complaining about what you don't have, if you focus on gratitude, you will start to attract prosperity and abundance. The breath is a vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the con connection between the inside and the outside. Connecting you to the universe, spirit and divine source. The breath permeates your entire being and prama which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. Synchronicities are noticing the signs of synchronicities that the spirit world has been sending to you. Are you noticing? Because the universe has been sending you signs and clues. People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they are being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. We are here to learn. You indeed have a special destiny. And it is being grateful for those lessons. 
and being grateful for the people that we have in our life. And not complaining about it. No more complaining. What we don't have, instead of focusing in on what you do have and what you are grateful for. It's how the journey is spent, you know? Mm -hmm. that's why you have this you're chosen remember your childhood remember the things that you wanted to achieve the things that you thought this is childhood remembering that look this is confidence this is a messenger this is an entrepreneur. This is someone confident and independent. Truth and clarity. Someone's thinking negatively. Negative thought complaining complaining of what they don't have complaining about their life and this is why you are a truth teller a truth seeker this is those that are grateful for the blessings these are divine messengers with divine purposes Someone, You've definitely had a calling. This is psychic. This is a bright child, someone who is born with a bright future. Someone who is called, divinely called. Mm -hmm. 
What in the hell is this? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is going on here? You had a divine purpose, and somebody tried to keep you off your purpose. I'm sorry, but it's true. It's not how you spend the journey, whether so much it's good or evil. But how you spend your journey. Look. It is your destiny. You have taken a leadership. You were born to lead. You were born to lead. Born for this destiny. Born for this victory. Born for this legacy. Born for this Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Star, Sun. This person was also born to lead. Why do we have one, two, three, four? Four masculines here. I don't know what this is saying. It's almost like someone did not want you to see your worth, your value, did not want you to see your potential. This is complaining excessively. This is like victim mentality, a negative mindset, a poverty mindset, woe is me mindset. Having all the excuses as to why anger, hostility, chasing, chasing, chasing after wind, chasing after wind, things of that are not important, complaining, they do not ever have, they never have enough. They're always searching for something more, something more, something more. When the truth is, it doesn't happen out there, it happens within. 
you know something? I think that these people, some of them, I don't know if they're healing. I don't know, this is awakening. You have, oh my God. So, okay. You may have had a life purpose where you have had many people come into your life and just as many people leave. It has all put you on your divine path. So you may have thought, okay, this is the one, this is the one, this is the one, this is the one. These people were keeping you from seeing your potential, your worth, your value. These are people that did not want you to see your worth, your potential, your value. So they would spend a lot of time complaining, whining, never having, and never having enough, void, uh, critical, judgmental, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. This was to, supposed to bring people into an awakening. Oh my Lord. <coughs> oh 
Oh my god. We have the three fates here. What did you do with your life purpose? What well, it's not so much that you choose good or evil, but how you treat people along the way. There is a lot of mayhem here. That is how we are judged. It's not so much that you choose good or evil, because we all have it within us. And we are always lured, lured to that temptation, lured to falling from our calling since the day we were born. But it is how you treat people along the way that counts. It is the three fates, you choose your destiny. You know how strong and courageous you have to be to stay on your life purpose? We all fall at some point and it is incredibly hard to get back up on that horse. Look at all that has happened in your lifetime. All, all, all of this has happened in your lifetime. Did you act out of love? Did you act out of caringness? Did you pray for others? Did you do this? Did you do this? Did you do this? Did you do this? The answer is yes, yes, yes. I don't know why spirit, I don't know, man, guys, something, karma is playing out here. We're, we're all being judged. We are. Are you grateful for the people in your life? Not what is to come out there but for what you already have. Are you grateful for the people in your life? And if you are grateful for those who have entered your life and pray for those who have entered your life, then gratitude will be given to you. by the universe. Look at all the people who have come and gone out of your life. 
How did you treat those people? And how did they treat you? And you still can pray for these people who have wronged you. And you still can send them positive energy and be grateful and say, I've learned something from each one of these circumstances that have been in my life. I've been faced with, <laughs> whoa, everything. <laughs> okay, everything. And you still showed caringness and gratitude and gratefulness. Whoa. Because it ain't out there. Spirit's been on this for like three days straight. It is not things that are tangible that you can hold. It is not out there. It is how you treat people along the way. It is your fate. How you look at you. Loving, nurturing, trying to lead people into a victory, wanting the best for other people in your life. You have been a leader, you have been a messenger, you have been an encourager, and encouraging other people to a victory. Being happy and proud of people who succeed that is your karma you have good juju you have good karma you were born with it which is why you've had so many attacks against you you took a seed the seed was planted and you have created it you have created a world for yourself that you yourself can be proud of in spite of all this. <laughs> Ma'am, you have created a world for yourself that you can be proud of, that you are proud to say, I'm glad I have this journey. I am glad. I prayed for these people. Now, guys, I'm going to share that story with you, and I don't know why. Back when I was very, very young, and I'm talking very young, I was in love with my children's father. And... I married that person when I was 17 and I was abandoned with two children. I was pregnant with my second child and now everyone, it hurt. <laughs> I've mean, got to say it hurt. I mean, we had nothing, absolutely nothing. And they were tough times. And I always prayed for this person. And he never came back and saw my children. Not a day. I never got money for child support. I got nothing. And we had tough times. And when my youngest child was... 16 we got a call that their father had passed away and now neither one of my sons knew their father in fact um 
they tried on several occasions to get together with him and he would ignore them. He wouldn't go see them. He would not um, have anything to do with them. He was just gone. And I took my children to his funeral because I wanted my children to know who their father was and to have the chance to say goodbye to him. Well, my kids often ask me, Mom, how come, how come you never said anything bad about him? I mean, he wasn't very nice to you. He didn't treat you very well. And I'm like, your father loved you. Your father always loved you. Just know that. Forgive. I taught my children to forgive. And even to this day, I would go with my children, except my youngest one has now passed away. I would take them to his grave so they could pay their respects. Did I have to do that? No. <laughs> I never complained, guys. I don't know why I was told to do that, but I did it. And I prayed for him that he would reach the other side safely. That... I said a lot of prayers for this person. Let's put it to you that way. I don't know why I was told to do that, but I did it. And I'm grateful that I did it. And I'm grateful that this person came into my life and blessed me with two wonderful children. And for that, I'll always be thankful. And you're judged not by not by good or evil because we've all fallen at some point and done things that are wrong at some point of our lives. But it's what you do along the way and how you treat people along the way that counts. I forgave this person. I did. And by me forgiving this person, my children could forgive their father because if you have unforgiveness for people on this earth it just like how do you have a relationship with your father in heaven if you don't have a good relationship with your father on earth which is why it's so important to forgive I never knew that at the time, but I did it because I was told to do it. And I know many of you have said prayers for people, and I know just by you being here that you truly, truly care, or you wouldn't be here. And sometimes those prayers that you say for other people can indeed be the very thing that breaks them free of those chains. Whether you are with them 
or not with them. It is important how you treat people upon this earth. It truly is. And that's what spirit wants you to know. It does matter. Your prayers matter. Your gratitude matters. The way you live your life does matter. It's not so much as if you choose good or evil, but how you treat people along the way. That does. And it's pretty clear that you have been very mistreated along your journey. And you may have been born to be exactly that, karma. You very much could be walking karma, a, a test for other people. You very much could be, some of you definitely are, born here to bring karma. You do good, you get good. You treat people fairly, you treat people with love. Not to say that, you know, you don't mess up or screw up or anything but your intentions are good and you genuinely care which keeps you from doing certain things to certain people. That's what counts. And if people have done you wrong, it's kind of like there's a lot of people who've done you wrong It's like you might have noticed that something bad has happened to all these people for how they did you wrong. Not that you prayed for it, not that you wished for it. You may have simply prayed for these people to break free of certain things. And those are the fates. you may be very well walking karma to these people that have come into your life. You've had a divine purpose. So do not mock because you very well may be walking karma whether you know it or not. People who have really harmed you, really hurt you. Sometimes they don't live. You may have noticed that. But you've always loved, you've prayed, and you've wished the best for everyone. And you've fought for these people and prayed for these people. That's why you're being blessed. Those of you that have done that, some of you were born here as walking karma, which is why these people have been brought into your life. They've had to face judgment, face their fate, face 
their karma. We don't know, guys. Take care.